We're going to change up the arm bar a little bit. Okay? So when Charlie goes for his arm bar, instead of cross gripping, he's going to block the same side. Okay? So instead of going across here and grabbing my neck, right? He's going to keep his hands on the same side of my body. All he's trying to do is get my elbow inside his hip. Does that make sense? Everything else is going to be the same. He's pulling my head down, steps on the hip, gets his hip out, right? I know where he's going. He's going to kick the back of my head, go for his arm bar. I'm going to grab, he's going to lock it up. But you see how he hooked my arm with his top arm, okay? So now, even though I'm defending, he's still got that arm in there. And his opposite arm is free to underhook my leg. So if I posture up too high, my butt's up, he's going to spin his butt out, right? And take me towards my head. We end up in spider web here. Now he's on top, all right? So he was able to sweep me. Because I got my butt too high and he was able to twist his hip. Does that make sense? So I'm going to control those arms. If you need to use the same arm to get his arm across, that's fine. But now I need to replace so that whatever arm I'm attacking is the same hand I'm blocking. Got it? Opposite hand is going to control his head, collar. I don't really care what you grab, your choice. I prefer the collar grip, okay? I'm gonna set up my arm the same way I was. Now, as soon as I get to the side, this hand that was blocking his elbow is gonna hook his hand, right? He's gonna start setting up his defense. He knows where I'm going. I'm gonna underhook that leg, step over the head, right? We end up in this little knotted position. Now, he's gonna step up and try to, not with that leg, oh. right? With the back, yeah. The right way. To box, step up with that back leg to prevent me from taking him over. And I'm gonna try to touch my left leg to the ground and my right leg to the back of his head to dump him over, right? So we end up in the spider web position. I'm gonna pick up his bottom leg to turn his hips, lock my ankles, and now I can start working on his arms to finish the armbar. Cool? So attack the armbar off your back, person on top defend, and the person on the bottom is gonna sweep back to spider web and finish there. Questions? What's that? Do I go up his elbow? He crossed over? Yep. How do you keep it over his That's what my legs are for. My legs caving down on the back of his head, the back of his shoulders, right? And my arm pinching on his arm, okay, as everything's together, should prevent him from pulling that arm out before I can spin him to the ground. Right? I'm not letting him, I'm not letting him get up onto his knee and start shaking. As soon as he starts to posture up, he's going over. Other questions? Good shot. One, two, three.